All right. I'm at Tractor Supply. This is one of the places I buy my food. When I buy dog food, typically what I do is <clears throat> I get the best quality for the cheapest price. So I'll get meat as the first or second ingredient. And then what I'll do is I'll look at the price and I'll get the cheapest one, but also the best one, if that makes any sense. But it has to be meat as the first or second ingredient. Uh, this is usually the cat food that I buy. This is the wild bird food that I buy for the chickens. It's either that one or this one. I can't remember. Whichever one's cheaper, buy the pound because it's the same stuff. This is 50 pounds. That's 35 pounds. <clears throat> and then this is the black... Uh, um, sunflower seeds that I get them I put that in there <clears throat> the stuff I get for the granule whatever this stuff's called crumbles that's what it's called that's typically what I buy it may not be this br brand per se but this is what I add into the chicken feed <clears throat> uh, I do not buy this although maybe I could or should <laughs> I do buy this. This is the sweet feed, the 12% that I typically buy. Sometimes they have a 16%, so I, I'll usually get it as well. Uh, but I might get this one, or I might get this one, or both. Let's see what else I buy. These are too expensive. I don't buy the expensive stuff. <clears throat> So yeah, um, how much is this? It's 10 bucks. No. No, I don't know how much that is. But anyways, I've bought this before, but I don't typically buy this. I usually buy the pellets. That's for horses. Um, oh yeah, that's $17. I don't think I get this. I might maybe once in a while put something like this in there, but not hardly. So here's the chicken scratch. Uh, that's the more expensive one, though. <clears throat> All right, so typically I'll get this here, which is uh, cracked corn. That's for the chickens. I'll get the whole corn for the goats. Oh, here's the scratch. <clears throat> I'll get this for the chickens as well. Like I said, I'll put some of this and with the goat food so they have some of that but it won't be a whole lot <clears throat> and that's typically what i do so these are for cows these are the big ones ah where's the pig food here it is and occasionally you know i might throw in some some of this, but not this stuff, because it's too expensive. Not the Purina. I'll get the uh, little, little bit cheaper one. I don't know which one it is, but sometimes I'll throw that in there, too. But typically, <clears throat> this is what I get. I go, here I is. Oh. Okay, that's minerals. I need to find... Something that I'm lacking for the chickens, but uh, I wanted to find that other thing that I put in. Those pellets that you saw in the last video. I'm looking for those. It was in the horse section, but I don't know if I got it here or at Orsland. But yeah, that's typically what I get. Get out of the way. <laughs> I'm looking for... Uh, Sometimes I'll even throw this in there. But I don't do that very often. Pellets. So yeah, but this is typically what I'll buy. This, or this, or both. And these three. Like I said, the whole corn for the goats. Scratch and cracked corn for the chickens. And then... <laughs> yeah oh and then this stuff and this stuff
and that's tough. But what I'm looking for now is um, here's the stuff that I got for the horses. So it's really bedding material, but what is it? <laughs> um, I looked at it before. <laughs> It's probably more like straw. It's just fiber. But I mix this in as well for fiber. Whether they eat it or not is... <laughs> That's not a very big bag. <clears throat> I only did that the last time. I don't hardly ever do that. <clears throat> but like I said, I threw that in there for fiber. And <clears throat> they seem to be fine. So but what I'm looking for now is uh, like an oyster shell or something to give the chickens a little more calcium. I need to put that in their feed because I don't think they're getting enough calcium. But I'm not seeing it here. <clears throat> grit. Here's some grit. That might be what I need to put in there. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, I got gravel rows. Oh, here's the uh, deworming goat pellets, I think. This isn't the one that I bought, but it's similar. Goat balancer. <clears throat> <clears throat> now, here's the one I bought. So here's the pellets that I bought to put in their uh, herbal blend. And some other stuff. And I've got minerals. I put that in there. <clears throat> so this is what I feed them, basically. I just come here and get good stuff. But I'm not spinning an arm and a leg for it at the same time. Poultry grit. So I think this is what I need to put in the uh, in their uh, feed to give them more calcium. I have to ask somebody. <clears throat> so I'm going to go find somebody and get some help. But anyways, I just wanted to update that so people know what I'm buying. <clears throat> I mean, you already seen it, but hey, I'm looking for uh, something to put in the chicken feed to give them more calcium. Is that the grit? Or somebody says something about oyster shells or something like that. Oh, okay. You have a bigger bag or do they need? Of oyster shells, uh, that is the only other option. Oh, okay. All right, and how much do they need? Not very much, or a lot, or uh, that's, you just kind of I don't know how many you have, uh, but yeah, you just kind of—it's not like a, just mix it in with their su feed. Su supplemental, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not like they take nearly as much as you know, like feed. Right. Okay. Yeah. So if I get, <clears throat> say, a bag of this, this, and then some granule and then put that in with it that's not too much to put in with those three or four bags four bags if you got four bags it's like 200 pounds i mean i think it's roughly uh, one pound to 20 pounds oh okay so i mean it's that's what i was like i don't think it's quite that much but um so, I mean, this is 50 pounds. Right, right. So, I, mean, this so I should probably put that in with my herbal blend. Uh, like, my my herbal blend that I give them is like an anti-parasite, um, all around, just different stuff to help them keep, um, like I put that tenacious earth in it to keep the uh, mites down and stuff like that. Yeah, so, I just think, put that in there and then put my the, scoop. Yeah, how much of that is a little bit, you know, a little how much okay. ever that stuff is put a little bit of this because this I mean unless you have a lot of chickens I mean this should last you forever right right well not forever but yeah at least yeah. a year yeah quite a while two. which is why it, that's, it seems like that's a really small bag but that would actually last you you know well last most people a while right so it says one pound per 20 so I mean technically that would do 100 pounds 100 pounds yeah so 4, 8, 12 so I basically need this per time that i go get feed yeah which but i mean if you're <clears throat> gonna be using it i mean yeah, it yeah, does yeah. definitely make sense to it'll go, save right? me money if i do that how much is this uh 
1341. Oh, okay. So, I mean, if, if you yeah, would, that's twice as much as this. Use it, I mean, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. going to go bad. Right, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll put that in with my whatchamacallit blend and my herbal blend. And then that way it goes in their feed by the scoop. Because I give them like 32, about 32 ounces of that blend I'll put in per 40 pound bag. So they'll get their diatinaceous earth, their jalapenos, uh, their wormwood, all that stuff with this. Yeah. I mean, that yeah. probably be the best option. Okay, cool. All right, thanks. No problem. All right, so there we go. <clears throat> so that's about the only thing I'm lacking. Everything else I'm doing is pretty much up to par. <clears throat> <clears throat> all right. 